Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to get latest version in Team Foundation Server 2015 using Visual Studio 2015. And why we do that? If you wanted to work on development, uh, you can't directly work on a code, edit the code in uh, Team Foundation Server. You need to download that code from Team Foundation Server 2015 to your local repository and you check out and get the latest version and start working on that. Once you're finished with your changes, you can uh, check those changes back into Team Foundation Server 2015. However, any changes that what you wanted to make in that code uh, or in that project, it needs to be downloaded into your uh, uh, local repository. And that's when you need to click on uh, um, uh, that particular project and uh, get the latest version so you can start uh, on the latest version your development how let's let me show you using visual studio how we do that so here i have um, a project ssis project right here and uh, i have checked it out uh, I know that uh, other team members were working on SSIS and I don't have, even though it is in my local repository right here, but I may not have the latest version. I wanted to get the latest version from Team Foundation Server 2015 and, and start working on this project. If you notice that I have this project already checked out, but this is not the latest version. So what I'm going to do, right click on that uh, folder and click on get latest version right here get latest version as you can see that it there is a little bit download arrow right here click on that and it'll tell you right here that if um, it is already latest or if it's not la latest it'll overwrite all the changes and now you have latest version of your uh, uh, project you can start working on it once you're done with your changes you can uh, check back in you can also get the latest version from your local repository and check back into your team foundation server basically this is how you uh, get the latest version there are multiple ways you can get the latest version you can uh, actually click on the other folders right here the subfolders and click on get latest version it says all files are up to date so if th these files are not up to date it will get the latest version from team foundation server to your local repository and you can start working on your development and i hope this video helps